Hi friends, let's face it, it can be really hard to buy a sewing machine online. You search and search and you think you have the right one and you even go ahead and buy it and it just doesn't seem to work out. Let me give you just a few strategies that I used to buy my sewing machine online. Before you even go to search any sewing machine at all, determine what kind of sewer you want to be. What I mean by that is, do you want to make clothes? Do you want to make your grandbaby's clothes? Do you see yourself more like a quilter? Do you just like to sew small projects? Or are you all of those things? I actually tend to be all of those things. If you're going to be all of those things, then you need to look for sewing machines that have a zigzag stitch, a buttonhole stitch, capabilities for free motion quilting on quilts, after I was sewing for a while, I tended to lean more toward quilting. So that machine that was for everything, it just didn't work for me anymore. I needed a bigger throat space and I needed a faster machine. Don't get me wrong here, I'm totally keeping my other machine. This machine right here, I will utilize for everything that my brand new Juki doesn't do. It's just my new Juki, it was made for quilting, no doubt. Now that you've established what type of sewist you are, now it's time to go to the internet. This part can be tricky, let me warn you. Some of these machines are very expensive, so stick to your guns on your price point and stay within that budget range. My tip, pick out three of your top favorite, only three. If you pick out any more than three, the waters, they just get muddy three. <laughs> Those three should have all of the criteria that we set in the first tip. I put my top three out on my YouTube channel in the community section. These were the results right here. For this next tip, we're going old school. Call real sewing machine dealers of the machines that were top three on your list. Talk to real people. You can get more in one conversation with a real person that you can get with any online review. Here's my case in point. Even though I had my YouTube viewers vote for which machine I should get next, I was still leaning toward another one. I called a dealer of that machine. That dealer was very honest in telling me that there were problems with that machine. It was a newer machine out on the market and evidently it didn't have all the kinks worked out. Well, let me tell you, I did not want that machine once I talked to that dealer. Always make sure you fact check too. So after I talked to that dealer, I did go to the internet and I looked up the reviews for that sewing machine. And guess what? That dealer was totally, totally right. Once I knew what to look for, I would have not realized that if I didn't talk to that dealer because I wouldn't have known what I was looking for, what issue, what main problem there was with that machine. I mean, you can read reviews all day long and try to read between the lines, but if you talk to a dealer, you're gonna be one up in your search. Now we're getting into some fun stuff. Narrow it down to one sewing machine. Go on sewing machine forums, look up YouTube video reviews, watch YouTubers who have the machine that you want See if there are tutorials on how to troubleshoot the different things. See what kind of support is out there for you with that machine. And that, my friends, is how I met up with Juki Junkies. I jumped down that rabbit hole and I didn't come out for days. They have a YouTube channel about my sewing machine right here. I know. I was totally captivated by their YouTube channel because they have a ton of tutorials on troubleshooting any issue or problem that you may come across. And it may not even be an issue. It could be just how to wind a bobbin. Now let me tell you, here's some footage right here. Yes, I had to go and look up HD Handsome David's video on how to thread my machine and how to thread my bobbin. It helped. They even have a Facebook group with like 20,000 people or something. If I was on Facebook, I'd totally be in that group. I thought they just had a YouTube channel. And then after watching more of their videos, I realized, oh my word, they sell these machines. I totally interviewed Juki Junkies on the down low. They didn't even know. I was watching, trying to read between the lines. 
And let me tell you, these people are honest. They are on the up and up. They stand by their product. They'll take care of you. Now, Juki Junkies, although it's a warehouse and it has a lot of great sewing machines in it, Gigi, the owner, she also has her own quilting shop and it's sort of right next door. I mean, how convenient, Gigi, right? <laughs> so then I got to thinking, why can't I buy the machine off Juki Junkies? I already trust them. I had an interview with them and they didn't even know it. <laughs> I emailed her, she emailed me back. The next thing you know, we're FaceTiming each other. We don't even know each other. Again, we have that real person connection, just like we did with the phone call in another tip to a different dealer. The tip here, what's out there to support the machine that you end up buying? And for me, it was totally Juki Junkies. No competition whatsoever. Before you buy from just anywhere online, stop. If you can't buy your machine from a brick and mortar store, then make sure the one you buy it online from is a brick and mortar store. Remember when I told you that Juki Junkies was a warehouse and then there was Gigi's Fabric Shop? Gigi's Fabric Shop is Juki Junkies home. So, brick and mortar. If by chance something does happen along the way to your machine while it's shipped, oh my word, you're way better off the brick and mortar sewing machine store will take care of you. So that tip, it's huge. Isn't she a beauty? I know. This is perfect for my free motion quilting that I so love to do. If you have followed all of my tips up till now, then you should be at the point when you do receive your shipment of your sewing machine, you should feel empowered because you've done all of your research you know what resources that you need to connect to if you have any issues. This tip, use those resources. You don't have to call anybody. You need to know how to wind the bobbin. Go to one of the videos that you researched ahead of time because you know it's there. Now that's whether it's Juki Junkies or somebody else. The one thing that I learned online about this particular machine was the automatic needle threader. Now it's a bit fiddly, but let me tell you what, I worked at it a couple times and I now have a hack for it. Stay tuned for that one. Now that you have your machine up and running, take care of it. Maintenance it per the manual. If your machine needs oil, oil it faithfully. Clean it. Get out those little dust bunnies. Oh yeah, these are at Juki Junkies too. I learned on watching one of Juki Junkie's videos where Boki talked about oiling your walking foot. Who knew? I didn't. So if your walking foot needs oiling, oil it. It's not like we can take these machines right back down to the corner store, right? So take care of it and it will take care of you. I sure do hope that you found this video helpful. These tips are the ones that help me get the machine that I wanted from the right people. TSC33, make sure you put that code in when you go to checkout. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.